All right, uh, what we're doing here today is, uh, this is a new product that we, uh, I'm working with a company called NanoWith. It's uh, a really cool battery. This is a conventional battery that we try to use to start our bikes and uh, it just really doesn't work. It weighs about 15 pounds and maybe get about four turns out of it. Um, this particular battery is uh, kind of a declassified military technology. Uh, it uses uh, some foam on the molecular level to uh, get the energy out a lot faster and a bunch of other technical stuff. But uh, what I'll do is we're kind of here to demonstrate what this particular battery can do. Uh, this motorcycle has a uh, Patrick Racing 113, a really big cam, a lot of exhaust over overlap, so they're really hard to turn, not to mention the belt drive, etc., etc. Everybody knows that, you know, most people just cross their fingers when they start the bike. So you can see that this has compression releases. We're not even going to use them. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn the bike on and uh, see how many times it turns over. Look right. Here. As you can see, this is uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, most batteries would have crapped out about eight or ten turns ago, but uh, this one keeps going. What I'm going to do now is uh, kind of push the battery until it completely dies, which is the uh, the hardest test to do on a starter, any battery. Usually the battery cables right now are overheating, the starter will start smoking, um, and uh, a lot of other stuff, but this thing is just, kept, keeps going. Right now we're probably on about 30, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And it's uh, going and going and going. As you can see, there's a little smoke. There's smoke from the starter. The starter's overheating right now, uh, which is uh, pretty crazy. Now that was just probably the worst test you can do to any, any uh, starting system. Um, you can see the smoke coming off the starter because the starter got so hot, but the actual cables are not even, not even close to being hot. So the load from the uh, battery, just uh, the amperage is still pretty low. And then on a normal battery, the cables would be melted by now. Um, you'd probably get maybe six turns. As you can see, this thing is probably turned for about a good minute and it had more left in it. So we'll go ahead and uh, try it again. We'll let the starter cool off for maybe a couple seconds here. And we'll just keep going until it dies. Two minutes of starting, of continuous starting, and the battery hasn't even flinched. As you can see, there's more smoke from the starter. And, uh, you know, that's nonstop, no cutting, no nothing, no bullshit. It's two minutes straight of pressing the button on a 113 with the plug wires off and uh, it didn't even touch the battery. A uh, good thing about the battery is it can take uh, any charge that you can put at it. Um, most batteries, even though they're small, can't take uh, the 32 amp charging system. They overcharge, they leak, they blow up, etc. This battery will not catch on fire, will not leak. Uh, 
you know, biodegradable, all that happy stuff. Um, it's just uh, a technology that's, that hasn't been introduced. Uh, the government's had it forever. So what we're doing is uh, introducing a couple batteries, uh, a lot of them in also cool shapes for the custom builders, um, flat, round, um, different sizes. This particular battery is actually uh, the bigger size, which is the size of a standard Odyssey style battery that everybody's used to. Um, they come with a, uh, a, uh, a management system. It's a kind of an onboard computer that basically helps uh, charge and discharge the cells evenly. And uh, with the computer, you can get about a 10 year lifespan out of it, um, which is unheard of in any battery. So, um, you know, it's not a lithium, it's not an ICAD, it's something a lot better. So, um, we'll try it again. Starter's still hot, but, you know, we're trying to kill this battery, so we're at about, I don't know, three minutes or something, so. was uh, a lot of abuse for that starter and it actually melted the uh, the rubber off of it, off the uh, terminal but uh, it's pretty crazy the battery didn't even stop it burned out the starter uh, we got a good three minutes out of it which is unheard of you maybe get 10 seconds out of a standard battery even the biggest battery that they make for a motorcycle um, and uh, you know there's not much else to say except for that try to find something else that does that <laughs> 